Enough is enough, America. Enough is enough, America. They also had a message for Kentucky's Attorney General. Devin Skillian is in the newsroom with more on this. And Devin, her family wants transparency, frankly. Yeah, Jason, they want the Attorney General David Cameron to release the transcript of the grand jury proceedings. Now, those are generally kept private, but elected officials like Kentucky's governor and the mayor of Louisville have joined in the calls to release them. Breonna Taylor, entire family is heartbroken, yeah. devastated, yeah. and outraged and confused mm. and bewildered, mm -hmm. just like all of us, as to what did Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron present to the grand jury? Mm. Did he present any evidence mm. on Breonna Taylor's behalf? Mm. On Wednesday, of course, a grand jury indicted a former Louisville officer on wanton endangerment charges for firing into a neighboring apartment. There were no direct charges handed down for Taylor's death. Today, Taylor's aunt read a letter on behalf of Brianna's mother. Camera alone didn't fail her, but it ended with a lack of investigation failed her. The officer who told a lie to obtain a search warrant failed her. The judge who signed the search warrant failed her. The terrorist who broke down her door failed her. The system as a whole has failed her. You didn't just rob me of my and my family. You robbed the world of a queen. Family's attorney says they are now counting on a federal investigation for justice. Activists say protests are going to continue until the officers have been charged in Taylor's death. 24 people were arrested during protests last night, and the city of Louisville has extended a curfew now into the weekend. We